Hi, I'm Steve-O and this is my wife Jen. Today we're going on a driving tour of the Cotswolds to see ruins, rivers, and quaint little villages, and I'll be driving on the opposite side of the road and the car for the first time. Do we survive? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm Steve-O. From Two Can Travel. And so can you. Today we are going on a road trip. We're going to the Cotswolds, or as they say here in England, the Cotswolds. Somebody probably says it like that. Somebody probably does. We've been staying just outside of Oxford in the UK. We're taking care of two cats here at a house sit. The homeowners have so graciously let us use their car while we've been here. It's a stick shift and I know how to drive a stick shift, but I don't know how to drive on the left side of the road. steve has practiced a little bit. We've gone grocery shopping twice and he's doing a really great job driving on the left. So Stop. you are. I'm the worst person to have in the car with you. I'm such a nervous person. I'm doing my best to just keep calm today and not be a pain in the ass for you while you're driving. That's on record. <laughs> that is on record. We have photo evidence. I'm going to try. I'm just going to try to keep my mouth shut, but I, I'm really historically bad at that. When we told people we were coming to this part of England, they said, oh, you've got to go see the Cotswolds. We and... said, what are the Cotswolds? The villages are meant to be the most idyllic places you can go in the UK. And we're just excited that we have the opportunity to do it. How was all that? Just a long line. Oh, okay. A lot of folks in there, and but it was busy. Told them I was number six, and here's some money. Here's some money for you. Thank you. So we're on our way to Minster Lowell Hall. We think it's some ruins from the 12th century, but we don't exactly know. I did a quick wardrobe change because I noticed everyone else was wearing walking shoes and I just had sandals on with my dress. Steve just went off to find a place to pee in a bush. He was absolutely bursting. I hope he didn't run into any people over there. How'd you do? I feel so much better. <laughs> Did you run into anybody? No. Oh, good. It's always, it's always when you're not supposed to pee that you always have to pee the most. That's so true. There's a legend that there was a skeleton found inside of this minstrel tower and that it was the body of Mr. Lo Minster Lowell, but there's no way to prove that because it was in the 1700s. These are the ruins of an estate of a very wealthy guy. Named Mr. Lovell. He's dead. From as far back as the 12th century. The main structure you see here is from around the 14th century. As you can see, they're not in amazing shape, but you can still see a lot of the structure and it's very cool. A lot of the details are still there. It's very peaceful. We're right next to a babbling brook. This would be a lovely place to just come for an afternoon. There's people sitting under trees and just reading or relaxing. It's free to enter. There's a church and then you walk around the back of the church and that's how you enter where the ruins are. The place has an interesting history and it was recommended to come here when you're visiting the Cotswolds. And I'm glad we did. It's been very nice to walk around. We are going to take our leave of this beautiful countryside vista and go see some more stuff. Made it to burn down the water. We found the best parking spot. We got so lucky someone was pulling out right along the main drag just as we were coming in. We're up by a nice cute little park. There are a lot of people out today. So we're gonna walk around right now and find a place that looks nice for lunch. And I changed back into my other clothes because I wanted to be in a dress today because it's a nice summer day. <laughs> Look at this dog playing in the water. I'm seeing a lot of people with ice cream. So we gotta do ice cream later. That's what I'm hearing. There's a lot of people and dogs in the water. I'm really curious if it's cold. Yeah. Good. 
good. We're so hungry. I got fish and chips because I'm an ink. Look at that. Three of them in my hand. Oh my gosh. And I got the plowman's lunch. It's a bunch of different kinds of cheese and I think ham, pork pie, some veggies. I guess it's what a plowman would eat. ice cream. It's placed behind us. It had a, such a long line, so we figured it would be good. I got the black currants with clotted cream. I got white chocolate with honeycomb. It looks really good. Cheers. We're going to go sit by the river and eat this. If you're picturing like quaint English village, this is it. It's absolutely so pleasant out. There are so many cute little shops here. They still even have the old red telephone booths. driving today has been on these just super quaint country roads that can fit maybe one vehicle. Thankfully it hasn't been too busy out on the roads so uh, Steve was doing such a good job. We made it to Byberry. <laughs> A nice German couple who was parked behind us told us which way to go. We're heading in the direction of the idyllic, nice little villages. Looks like a nice little loop. We'll see some really quaint stuff. I already see a creek. Yes. I don't know what they call them here. A stream? A stream? A, a brook? I was thinking that it's a Thursday and it's like later in the day so we'd avoid the tour buses, but enough people are here who drove themselves. This is one of the other most famous spots in the Cotswolds. Seems like everybody got the memo of where the cutest place in all of England is. Yeah. It's right here with us. <laughs> I would go so far as to say that this is quaint as It is. We're at that very famous spot where there's just a little row of these little cottages here. Absolutely gorgeous here and I can see why it's a famous place to come. It's said to be one of the most beautiful villages in England. I'm sure it's even busier at earlier times of the day when there are actual tour buses that come here. And there's signs as you walk here that like, people live here, bro. Don't walk around in the wetlands because there's endangered species there. Can you believe people live in these homes? That would probably be so annoying. <laughs> so there's basically a little path you take in a circle that leads you through the wetlands, past the cottages. It's really pretty here. We just came a little bit away from where the crowds are and we've got this footpath all to ourselves for another like 15 seconds. <laughs> We hope you had a great time coming around the Cotswolds with us today. It's a really beautiful part of England and we'd highly recommend visiting here. It's definitely easiest if you have a car, so if you can rent a car, that's ideal because the villages are quite spread out. But if renting a car is not an option for you, there are day trips you can take from London or from Oxford that take you out to the Cotswolds, so we'll link some ideas for that below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. All of the leaves of all of the trees here said you should do it, so listen to the leaves. If you haven't already, check out our videos about Oxford. They're really cool and a place where you could start your tour of the Cotswolds from. Yes, Oxford is a very cool city, so definitely check that video out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.